Hey y'all, my name is Lewis. Um, you know, I'm gonna be doing this little camera review. Always been wanting to do one. Uh, what really uh, sparked the fire today is <laughs> that was weird as fuck. Um, the, what what really made me do this today was because um, it's basically my last chance to do it with this camera because um, I sold it. You know, um, I love it. I kind of I'm still regretting it, but um, I got a pretty penny for it, so you know I can't um, I can't say no. You know I said yes to the dress, <laughs> but basically, the camera I'm gonna be talking about today is the Mamiya 645 Pro TL. This camera right here is a medium format, uh, shoots six by four five, as you know, basically. Um, and it was actually my first, uh, like, medium format with um, a battery. I have a RB67. And, yeah, that's it for the medium format. <laughs> this was my second. I bought this because it was a really good deal. I bought, I had to buy this camera. The guy, I, I, met, I met a guy on Letgo. He was, uh, met him in Queens. Um, and he was selling me, he was selling this camera and a Cave 88 and he was selling it for 400 and I talked to a guy down to 350 and, um, uh, I really just wanted this camera, but he was like 350 and I was like, fuck, I was like, all right, whatever. But when he first sold it to me, he just sold it to me with just the, um, the crank knob. Everything, all these other things I, I bought, I bought extra. They were separate. So, um, but yeah, the, the KV88, that was also beautiful camera. I love it because it's mechanical. Um, and uh, it's just old, you know, it was from 1990. It was a second model. It wasn't the original uh, first batch. But what I didn't like about that camera was loading the film was a pain in the ass i could not get it like i could not get used to that like i was like you know what i'm fucking around too much wasting time trying to load this damn film i don't i, I it wasn't I, I didn't enjoy it i didn't enjoy using it but i sold it uh put it on let go and i actually sold it to another kid for 150 and i could have got a little bit more but i just wanted to like hook someone else up um, but I do, um, I do regret selling it because, you know, I kind of hooked the kid up, but like two weeks later, he told me he breaks it. And I was like, God, I'm like, you just broke history. Like, how do you break that camera? It's, it was so durable. Like, but he told me something, he messed up like the shutter speeds or something. I think he cranked it like twice and fucked it up. But yeah, like this, you know, this camera got the little crank too, you know? And it got the little thing that comes out. I always like to crank it like this closed when I was using it because I always felt like maybe I could snap this thing. Even though it's pretty solid, you know, but I would just twist it, you know. Boom. Ready. Take the slide out. This camera's pretty cool. I like that because it has the slide here in the back. The RB67, it was like on the side. It's a pain. It's kind of whack that they have it like that. But, you know, it's the first, you know, the first uh, model they made. Just shoot like that. Love it. And I'll put this back. And I got the camera, you know, with the waist level viewfinder. Just flip it open. We got this little um, tab right here in the top right corner. And that, you push that, and you get the mirror. You got the magnifying glass. So, you know, that's for like, you know, close up shots or, you know, or any shot that you want to get in focus, really. Um, it's really good, crispy. You know, um, this little sliding thing right here, you see the A in there, and then the, the M. The M is like manual, you know, focus in here. But once you do A in there automatic, you could see, you could see just more bright, you just see brighter. It's just like all, all the light comes in. The M is just kind of like, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. I don't, I don't really, um. I don't know the specific of that feature, but I know one is just like 
super bright uh, viewfinder. Other one is like a little dark. Now here, this is the um, the grip. This grip is simple. Uh, it's the only you really only need this grip, in my opinion, because you just have a lock feature and a shutter. All the other things, you know, that's probably more for the. I think it's like the it's like the second one, but that one's more um, more professional. I'm a hobbyist. I'm not professional yet, <laughs> but um, you know, this is. I would recommend the grip. Uh, to use with the prism finder I'm about to show y'all but before I show y'all that I'm gonna show you the waist level like see this I like this cuz I used to like walk around the city like, like a little lunch bag you know uh, and they had this this little thing right here see it's like I don't know I never I never used it never quite understood the uh, how to use it how, I didn't want to use it cuz I don't want to like waste film cuz 120 is kind of expensive so but yeah, so to pop this waist level viewfinder, so simple. Squeeze here, this side. Pay attention to where this is, you know. That, and then here is a push down. So you squeeze with the thumb and push down with your pointer if you're a right handy. All right? You're right righty, right handy. What the fuck am I saying? Boom, boom. Easy. Now, if you buy this camera, look for this. Make sure this is not corroded out at all. I mean, it's pretty obvious. And for these points, you see those points up there? And that's the bottom of it. This is actually, there is, I always thought this was, this had glass, but it doesn't. Let me see. That was, that was kind of weird. So well, let me put this off to the side. So I'm selling this camera with this prism finder. This is the one without the light meter. There is one without a, with the light meter, but, um, and, and you could actually set it uh, to automatic on your camera right here. If you have that one with the light meter right here. But I don't really like that. I like to have a separate light meter. Um, I don't know, it's just me. But yeah, this is the viewfinder. Look at that thing. Look how nice this thing is. All right. Now you just basically, this is how easy this is. And see the two little teeth right there? Those metal things. You also just always make sure everything is like, you know, when you buy something, make sure um, everything like, you know, pushes down easily. That it's not fucked up. It's not jammed. If you buy something jammed, it's sus. Like you got to move on with that. But look, boom clicks right in now this i really like the i always recommend the prism finder with the grip because now look it's like a 35 millimeter just bigger and, and with better quality pictures you know um and the, the prism finder corrects the um you know the left right uh thing that it that the that these cameras do you know it, when using the waist level viewfinder um and it helps. It's quicker. It's easy. It's uh, easy to carry. You could actually even just uh, I don't know. you just make you can make it. You can break this thing down so easy. Like boom, look at the camera right here. Look, film back. Waist level viewfinder. Grip off. The lens, uh, I don't really like taking off the lens, but the lens is is um is also easy to take off. But I want to leave it on because I just don't want to fuck with it because it has this weird thing right here. If you notice, it's a little bit different. There's like a little sliding thing right here, you know. Um, I guess I, you know, I'd rather not though. To be honest, I'm just gonna leave it. I don't want to fuck it up because I, this camera is sold, so I don't, I do not want to fuck it up. So I'm just gonna click it back on there. See this right here, the little lip. Make sure that's not bent. Make sure this is flat. When you, if you're, you know, if you're gonna buy this camera, um, boom. 
The best thing about this camera, in my opinion, one of the best things is the size of it, but also, if you didn't notice it before, mechanical light seals. They basically just don't go bad unless you like dented it or, you know, got water and rusted out or whatever, you know, but as long as you clean it correctly this bad boy is never gonna leak leak light leaky like <laughs> leaky lights but yeah so i bought uh let me put this thing away so i bought a um i bought an extra film back for this camera because I always liked having an extra um, roll ready to go, especially with medium format because it takes long to like kind of load in there, you know, could, um, you might be in a vibe or doing something right and you don't want to fuck something up, like kill it, you know, so I got, boom, you just click it back in, you have that extra one. So, and these are expensive, but the good thing is that um, um, they last forever, pretty much, you know. Um, I bought two actually. And I'm going to. They may look the same, but you see, this one has two knobs, and this one has one knob. This one is blue, right? This actually came from a me uh M six four five super, and uh, shit, can't even put it back on. <laughs> But yeah, see, pop it open, take the film out, pop that little tray down, pop the other side one too, boom, and you load it, you, that's it. Click it back in, you are good to go, my friend. My friend, I'm Spanish, I could do that, all right? You can't do that if so, if you're someone else, if you're not Spanish. <laughs> All right, so this is the other one I was talking about. It looks the same. It actually came from an M645 Super. Also mechanical life seals. The other one before I didn't I didn't say it. I don't think I don't, I don't think I said it, but it does have mechanical life seals. But this is why I actually um, was really interested in this camera is that. This camera has a film back for 35 millimeter. And it's pretty cool. Let's see? 135. It's loaded in on this side. You see? Boom. Feed it around the back. And then it goes on that side. It really. This is probably one of the easiest 35 millimeters to ever load uh to uh to load film into it just click into it and then you shoot you get about um i don't know i think you get about like 24 shots just like no mm, yeah you get about like 24 shots it's a little bit smaller you know so you're still getting like um 35 millimeter I think resolution, I guess. Is it? I don't know, actually. Let me see. Let me compare the size. Oh, no, actually. Look at that. So you're going to get the same size. Oops. Oh, shit. I almost dropped. <laughs> you're going to get the same size. 605, 605. But this is using 35 millimeter film. So, you know, if you're uh, starting off. Uh, I guess you could use the 35 millimeter to get used to this camera, but also um, when you buy this camera, you're probably just buying one back. You're not going to really know about the 35 millimeter unless you're really looking for it or if you're really doing your homework on the 645. But yeah, so um, I'm sad to say I'm going to sell these things. I'm going to sell it. It's gone. Sold it with this as well, auto extension, uh, number one. 
this you know you put on the lens and this one is good for like uh it's better for close-ups basically um so yeah 645 pro tl good camera um and i sold it i kind of regret it but for what i paid for it you know um i basically paid you know 350 for the whole kit i sold the kid you know because you know i had to buy two um i sold the kid for 150 the kid breaks it and um so basically i got this count for 200 everything else i bought separate um you know but I got it at really good deals. Like, I'm such a bargain hunter. You know, like, the grip, I think I bought for $20 and shipped, you know. Uh, it's not in the best looking condition, but it's $20. Like, you can't beat that. This thing, I think I paid, like, 10 bucks. The film backs, I probably paid, like, 40 bucks. Um, the 35 millimeter one, now, that one cost me a little bit more. Like, I think it was, like, 80 maybe. And the prison finder actually cost me like a hundred or maybe 90. Probably a hundred with shipping and tax. So I basically added everything up and I spent about like roughly no more than $600. And I'm actually selling everything, all of this for 1200. So I doubled my money and, um, I kind of regret it, but you know, twelve hundred is twelve hundred bucks. You know, it's a good, it's a good, uh, good flip. Um, I call myself, and I had to let this go because I'm becoming a camera hoarder. You know, you see those things in the back? I'm a sneaker hoarder. I'm a polo hoarder. I'm a fucking jersey hoarder. I hoard everything. You know. Film from one. Oh shit! Oh yeah, this is all. Two thousand two. Damn. Not for sale. <laughs> but yeah, Momia six four five Pro TL. Definitely recommend it. Uh, if you get into medium format. <clears throat> sorry, really gassy. I hate broccoli. Um. But yeah, 645 Pro TL, really good camera to start off with for medium format. You, If you're going to get into RB67, it's a little bit more technical. This thing operates way easier, more like a 35 millimeter. Set the speed, set the ISO, one, two, three. Um, but that little thing, well, not this little thing. This right here. Now, this is, this is what I like. It's big, it's bulky, it's a pain in the ass to use sometimes. But just the mechanics of it, and just the idea of this thing, it's all mechanical, just turns me on, you know? <laughs> but um, I love it. It's a good camera, it's fucking heavy. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna do a review on that uh, probably another day. I just really wanted to do this review or just talk about this damn camera really because it's sold and I'm never going to see this thing again. Uh, so, you know, I know the person who bought it is really going to enjoy it. Um, uh, another funny thing too is that I listed it actually on eBay for um, a thousand bucks, right? And uh, and I had a uh, make an offer on there as well. But as make an offer... My low was 800 because I just wanted to re really actually get this fucking thing back into like the camera community. You know what I mean? Or camera, uh, ca camera enthusiasts, film enthusiasts. But um, the person emailed me and was like, oh, what are you interested in? And I was like, oh, well, for buy it now, like, you know, I'm trying to do 1400 I just said 14. I'm like, whatever. Because I didn't want to sell it. You know, I didn't want to sell it. I was kind of regretting it at the moment. And then the, they just emailed me back saying, uh, I'll buy it for 1200 I was like, all right. I'm like, just 
put the offer in and done deal. And I didn't really believe it because there's a lot of people who, you know, they pump fake on the internet and um, they don't never they don't really follow through with the purchase, especially the let go. But um, pay for it right away. So it's off tomorrow. Um, I think it's going to Oregon. So it's going coast to coast. This thing started in Japan. Went to New York. And then uh, back to Oregon. Well, not back to Oregon, I guess, because it never was there. Or maybe it was, but it's going to Oregon now. But yeah, 645 Pro TL. It's a definitely a must cop. One of the best 645s out there because of all these little accessories that you could get for it. You know, you could get the prison finder with the, uh, with the, what's the, what's the thing called? The light meter on there. Um, the film backs, you know, you could use all, all the film backs from this camera are all interchangeable. The lenses are all interchangeable. Even with the first older model, those lenses are interchangeable. Um, that one I have uh, 80 millimeter, I believe it was, or 90 millimeter to a 2.8, and it's pretty fast. You know, it's it's good, but and uh, but the best one out there, or the fastest one, is a uh, 1.9, and those are those will run you um, pretty expensive. But you know, if you you know if you want that, then you should buy it, because in with the medium format apertures, actually since they're bigger, it could be you know the RB67 is 3.8. But it being in medium format, when it shoots, it's probably more like um, 2.9, 2.0, you know, around. It gives you that kind of look, you know. So don't think it's like a 35 millimeter because it's totally different. Not totally different, but it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just one stop lower, basically. So this 645, you know, a, a 2.8 will probably, shoot, like, compared to a 35 millimeters, probably like around... You know, um, 2.0, I would say again. But yeah, so 645, buy it, all right? Or try it, then buy it. <laughs> all right, take care, y'all.